This week, several pediatric health groups took extraordinary action by declaring a national emergency in children's mental health. Ignoring a child's mental health can have dire consequences for their future. So CBS's Michelle Miller looks at an innovative program that provides help through music in tonight's Eye on America. A little bit more on that one. In John Wallace's music class, there's motivation in melody. Turn that guitar up. Every beat composed reminds students there's power in their playlist. Just that piece oh, plays, see? See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some of them just open up about things they've never told people, and I'm like, holy crap. And you trusting me with that? With America's young people in the middle of a mental health emergency, the goal is to get students to open up about feelings like anxiety, anger, or depression. Music is like therapy to me. Music is like getaway. My music would almost be a reflection of how I was feeling. Yeah, sing it, girl. By encouraging emotional expression at this alternative high school north of San Francisco, Wallace says he can solve another problem. The statistics are staggering. Young women dropping out of high yeah. school or have a higher rate of being single moms. 83% mm -hmm. of incarcerated persons dropped out of high school. That was me. You know, I dropped out of high school. I chose to have a kid at 16, 17 years old, and the choices that I made after she was born landed me in Stan Quentin State Prison. But songwriting, he says, I wrote this one a couple days ago. Changed his trajectory. I would lock myself in a studio and just go at it. I wish that I could take your pain away. I know it's crashing like a tidal wave. That motivated him to start Stop, Surviving the Odds Project for teenagers. I like the break. <laughs> no, what, what you gonna do right there? <laughs> like Serena Hodgkinson. My situation was uh, family stuff that was um, continuously going on, and I eventually stopped going to school. She went back, graduated, got a job, produced an album on Spotify, and with classmates, performed at the county fair. As long as I have my feelings, whatever I've gone through, as long as I've gotten that out there and it's off of my chest, I'm good. Soon, Stop will launch at two more schools. Go back to the beginning. Where to, there's only one track record that counts. So basically, you get these kids through high school, you drastically reduce their chances of being arrested. I'm seeing it. Some of them have gone on to continue music. I know myself. I didn't know that uh, this, could ha this could ever happen to me. A small commission for songs key to life. Turn it down about. For Ion America, Michelle Miller in Novato, California.